Good day, everybody. We've made some changes in the shop. We've rearranged things a little bit. Got our tables over here now. I had a couple of things in storage in my dad's shop, which I've now moved into this shop. So it's out of his way and I can use it. That was the bar that was handmade by my cousin Frank for our wedding. So it's a, it's a very special bar. No tools go on it. Only unopened cans of bull snot. All right, they have the privilege of being on there and we'll see how they behave. If they don't behave, they will lose their bar privileges. But for now, this is where we got our hideable, greasable, waxable, shinable, dashable, polishable, vanishable, and visible. And then we got the rest of it stored back here. This is our TV box. All in here. So they better behave. Once the cans are opened, they're not allowed to be on here. This is a special, special bar for us. But yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, I have a Harley Davidson blanket here. I'm gonna hang up behind there. I know I don't drive a Harley. I have a V-Star, I understand. I hope the Harley riders won't be too mad at me. It's gonna happen. So uh, I'm sweaty, it's hot in here today. Uh, I've been working on this mirror. Remember this mirror came apart, and broke off. Well, the bolt here broke off, so I fixed that for this trip. And I've ordered new ones, okay? This is gonna be good for the week. The end of the week, or sometimes throughout the week while I'm on my next trip, my new mirrors are gonna show up uh, in the mail. I had to order them in. And they're pretty much just like this, maybe a little narrower. I think these are eight inch wide and then the new ones are seven inch, but we'll see, they're pretty standard. The only difference is they'll have a marker light on there. Because remember what I do, and what I always say, if something breaks and you gotta replace it, replace it with something better. So it's gonna have a marker light up there. We'll just have to hook it in. And then I got a matching one, obviously, for the driver's side too, and we'll replace the driver's side. There'll be a little marker light. Hopefully this bar here won't be in the way of it. If it is, I might need to get a whole new assembly. We'll see. It's a heated one. These ones are moto mirrors. The ones I bought are not motorized because motorized ones cost a few hundred dollars. And uh, just the heated ones don't cost as much. Maybe like $75. And I don't need, I don't need moto mirrors anyways. It's, it's fine, it'll be fine. My decision, my call, I made it. Lots of bugs in old blue. I haven't had a chance. It's been a busy weekend. I haven't vlogged much over the weekend. I know that a lot of you are, uh, Wondering about the IVF process, we've sort of gone silent on that, and uh, sort of on purpose. Uh, this part of the IVF process, this is where we're hoping to uh, conceive for my wife to have a baby. We're not going to be talking much about whether or not it takes until we, uh, we know for sure. And we won't know anything for sure until she reaches uh, past her first trimester if it works. So I'm going to leave you in a little bit of suspense on that. I apologize. I, I wasn't planning on that, but afterwards we decided, you know what, this is more of a private journey at this point. Um, we have had a, a miscarriage before, and she's had a few miscarriages, and uh, if it does work, we don't want to, you know, announce it to the whole world, yay, we're having a baby, and then have to announce a few weeks later that uh, we lost it. That's... It's difficult because then those comments keep coming back like for years and years. Oh, I thought she was pregnant. I thought she was... It's just better off till we wait till we're sure. And uh, we have had our, gotten our results and stuff. Remember, we have two shots. We have two shots. And if these both don't work, we'll have to go through the whole egg retrieval process again, through this whole IVF process again. And we won't be ready for that for a little while yet. But I'm going to go a little radio silent on the IVF front for a little while until we can tell you something for certain. So just uh, be patient, and hopefully we'll have some news for you uh, in a couple of months. All right, just gonna turn off all my lights and stuff. I am headed out. I just came here to uh, fix up that mirror, so that's good for the next trip. And now we're going to pull out our mower, if it hasn't started raining outside already, and hook up to Dad's trailer, bring it over here, load this mower up, and we're gonna go mow down some of the long grass at our land. You guys have been asking, why haven't you been to your land? Well, we've been there. We just haven't filmed there this year. We haven't, we've been sort of distracted with many other things going on, but we go and check on it regularly. We're always there, but it's time to go and mow the lawn down a little bit. So it looks like, you know, people are checking on it all the time. It doesn't look deserted. Don't want that. So we brought out the big guns. Our 
property's a little uh, <laughs> little overgrown here, right? We haven't mowed it this year yet. But like I said, we do come and check on it. You know, all this long grass here. And all these bushes are going to be growing again. Ah. So when we build, straight down there is going to be my shop. 14 by 14 foot door. Probably, hopefully like a 30 foot by 50 foot shop into the bush. Oh, there's mosquitoes here. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to be quick about this. I'm going to mow this down. Wow, yep, there's mosquitoes. That's what happens when you leave long grass like this for too long. Okay. <sighs> Let's mow her down. mosquitoes okay minnesota don't worry we still have the title well that time we delivered those trusses down to that cabin in minnesota i thought that they had uh, a lot of mosquitoes manitoba still tops you out it is nuts out there i had to keep moving just constantly as soon as you stop it just you could feel it almost like water on your skin just flowing onto your skin mosquitoes nuts I got both trailers loaded up there as quick as I could. That's why I'm out of breath. Got it loaded up. I'm just gonna pull it out onto the road somewhere, like away from these mosquitoes and tie it down there. But I'll show you from the safety of the cab how far we got. Got the uh, driveway mode down here. All of this here. Can't see it from here, but under the truck where I'm parked. And all of this. See those bushes? All these bushes are ones that I need to, uh, I need to rent uh, an excavator, a mini excavator, and bring it here and dig all these out by the roots, and then uh, level this off. This is gonna be our front yard though. Our house will be right back there. Not bad, eh? Not bad. At least we got something done. At least we got something done. I always feel better when I get something done. Future Josh here. We're in the truck. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about the land, so I wanted to show you the land a little bit and uh, that we are still making progress on it there. Britt and I are getting very antsy to get our house. Uh, we went house shopping again. Uh, we're looking at RTMs to move on to there. Uh, and also we want to build a shop on there and, de and a detached garage. Uh, we've been in contact with a home builder and we've picked the house that we want at least right now and <laughs> we're getting it priced out uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with with the one we picked uh, I'll have to show you it in the future maybe a little bit it, I don't have it here with me uh, I'm already on the road just wrapping this up for you uh, it's 1500 just over what, 1550 square feet and uh, they build it in Winnipeg and uh, then they'll move it to our land. Uh, we're hoping to get this done as soon as we can, realistically, which, <laughs> you know, if we had our way, it would be next year. But in all honesty, it probably won't be next year. It might not even be the next. It might be a few years yet before we can get, get on it. We have to get ourselves into a good financial position and right now with the way the markets are with the way the interest rates are I'm a little bit hesitant to get into something new we have a very low budget life right now it's really nice uh, we have very low payments on our house uh, if the interest rates do go up it's not gonna bankrupt us we'll be fine we don't need a bigger house right now until we would have uh, more than one kid if we had two kids and they were maybe above 10 years old we'd have to get so we we have like 10 years that we could stretch out our stay at the house we're in now 
we'll we'll see we're not in a big rush but at the same time we're in a big rush we want to get onto that land and we want to build we're getting very antsy so we've gotten this home plan picked out uh, we're getting it priced out this week um, building a shop on there as well so that uh, the shop I'm at right now I'm renting I don't own it uh, and I want to own my shop probably about the same size as that one so I want one on our land so that it's right there so that when my kids are around when I'm home you know my family is just a couple of steps out of the shop into the house or my kids can come and you know say hi to me in my shop right there on the yard the truck will be right there uh, I can work on it right right at home so we're gonna the, the plan is to build a shop first uh, get it insulated and then move our travel trailer into the shop and then the next step would be to move the home built have the home built and move it onto the land and if if we need to uh, have a place to stay we can always stay in our travel trailer on our land there while the house is being positioned moved and set up and if it's a colder part of the year we can pop that travel trailer into our into our shop and it'll be heated and, and stuff so we'll have a warm place to sleep at least until the house is ready to move in and then after that house is set then we want them to come back and build a detached garage probably an oversized two-car garage uh, similar to the garage we had at our old place maybe a little bit smaller but similar uh, so that you can drive two cars in there uh, like two pickups in there comfortably and open the doors without hitting the other the wall or the other vehicle so a comfortable detached garage and then after that the builder is going to come back and build a deck for us on the back of the house probably about a 12 foot deck and a sunroom onto the back of the master bedroom it'll be uh uh four four projects four contracts the the shop the house the detached garage and then the the rear deck and the sunroom that has to be built on after because it would be too wide to build it and then move it with the sunroom on there so we have to build just the house and build the sunroom later but I don't want to give away too many of our plans okay you can sort of imagine it in your head right now and uh, Britt is really excited about this so I want to go over these plans with her and uh, we can show you the floor plans and everything uh, when she's with me because uh, she's she's really excited about this uh, like I was saying earlier or in yesterday and yeah in this vlog we're, we're gonna hold off talking too much about what's going on with our IVF transfer uh, we have two shots at this and uh it's very it's very tough and nerve-wracking especially for brit this whole time i've been saying we've been going through this we've been doing that in in reality she's been going through it all and i've been trying to be here as a support for her and uh, uh she's really big into homes home building dreaming about our home with us so uh it's definitely been a good thing uh, planning this all out during this time sort of keeps her mind off of everything and uh, keeps her from worrying too much about uh, uh, whether or not the uh, IVF takes. But I'm going to be quiet on that. Obviously, I'm not going to announce anything without her with me. So while I'm on the road, there obviously won't be any announcements. Uh, we're going to wait uh, probably, well, until she says she's ready. <clears throat> but at least until uh, we would hear heartbeat, if, if it does work. Uh, maybe through the first trimester until she's past that danger phase where miscarriages could happen uh, once once we're ready we'll make an announcement and if we have to go through it all again well we'll fill you guys in at that time so uh, just hang tight keep tuning in it'll it'll be a little while yet before we can release any news on the IVF front but uh, I appreciate you guys all hanging out here with us all your support your well wishes your prayers uh, everything you guys have done for us you guys have been so supportive and uh thank you thank you so much um like i said this is a huge process for brett uh it's, it's insane the amount of like injections and pills and all kinds of stuff that she's had to put into her body and and this whole thing has been really tough on her and yeah, us guys, uh, when it comes to uh, making babies, us guys have it pretty easy. I'd say it's actually not even that bad at all. Our, our part is uh, actually, it's all right. Uh, boy, 
So she's calling the shots on this when we're ready to uh, to, to announce it. Uh, I'll, I'll let her make that call. So we just gotta be patient. We gotta be patient. Don't worry, I'm not hiding anything from me. I'm not keeping me out. We'll let you know. Let you know when we're ready. So uh, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say. Uh, you guys who have been asking about our land, now you've seen it. It's still there. Now you know our plans for it. The plans might change. This is our second home plan for the land. It might change again. Who knows? But we are getting antsy. We want to get onto that land. We're going to have to do something about the mosquitoes, though. We are going to declare war on those mosquitoes. Okay? We don't mess around. We're going to figure out a way to... Uh, take them all out every single last one of them on my land I mean they can live outside the borders of our land I don't care I understand they probably support some kind of ecosystem somewhere but that ecosystem does not include our property <laughs> I don't know we'll see we'll get some bug zappers we'll get some mosquito catchers and, uh, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out when we figure it out how's that sound wisdom all right my friends have a good day uh, have a good night and we'll talk to you later